Hi everyone. The U.S. market is becoming increasingly difficult to find deals on stocks, and this sentiment is consistent with recent comments from investor gurus like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Ray Dalio, all now exploring foreign companies more than ever before. And that's why today we're diving deep into a company that is making waves across the pond, Novo Nordisk. Now, when we talk about Europe's giants, names like L'Oreal Cosmetics, ASML semiconductors, and Louis Vuitton often come to mind. But rising rapidly to the top is Novo Nordisk, a pharmaceutical powerhouse specializing in diabetes medication. Now, recently, they have surpassed Louis Vuitton as Europe's largest uh, company uh, via market cap. Now, you might have heard of their new drugs, Exempic and Wagovi. And while they're lifesavers for diabetes, they're making waves across social media as a weight loss miracle. And this isn't just about two successful drugs. Nov Novo Nordisk's success is reshaping Denmark's complete economy. Novo Nordisk. Novo Nordisk. Shares of Novo Nordisk have been on a tear the last few months. Drug sales surged to more than a billion dollars. The finance community is exuberant about the potential of these drugs. Probably have two of the biggest selling drugs that we've ever seen. Novo Nordisk's share price has roughly tripled in the past three years. The Danish company is now worth more than the Danish economy. And still, healthcare analysts think it could go higher from here. Now, guys, if you're someone who's looking for alternative stocks outside of the U.S., this is definitely the place to be. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and stay updated on all these global investment opportunities. Ozempic, initially an FDA-approved diabetes medication, had an unexpected side effect, and that was weight loss. And this discovery took the medical world by storm. Celebrities and doctors alike have been praising this uh, effectiveness of this diabetes medication that's now being used for weight loss reasons. And a 2021 study even showed patients were losing an average of 14.9% body weight in 68 weeks. Now, without diving too deep, Ozempic mimics a hormone called GLP-1, which signals fullness. It not only helps regulate blood sugar, but also helps reduce appetite. And this dual action has branded it as a revolutionary weight loss solution. Now, from $269 million in 2018, Ozempic sales have soared to nearly $9 billion in 2022, recognizing its potential beyond diabetes. Novo Nordisk in introduced a new drug called Wagovi, essentially Ozempic repackaged now as a weight loss supplement or a weight loss drug. Now, Wagovi's popularity has now even surpassed Ozempic, uh, the previous drug that was for diabetes. And Novo Nordisk's success is fueling Denmark's entire economy. Their market cap has even exceeded Denmark's GDP. While this rapid growth brings benefits like corporate tax revenues and lower interest rates for citizens, there are also some outside concerns. Now, Denmark's heavy reliance on Novo Nordisk reminds me of Finland's dependence on Nikovia, which had significant repercussion when Nikovia's fortunes started to decline. So guys, in conclusion, Novo Nordisk's rise as a pharmaceutical titan and its impact on Denmark's economy is a testament to innovation and market dynamics. And as we watch this story unfold, one thing is definitely for sure. Novo Nordisk is a name that we're going to hear for years to come. And that's pretty much the wrap on Europe's rising star, Novo Nordisk. And if you found this video helpful, guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and until next time, stay safe, Market Pulse members. Thanks.